Hey everyone, uh, this is going to be just a short tutorial today. I am planning on making some longer tutorials soon, but today I just want to show you how to paint using gradient maps. It's a really fast and effective process, and I use it mainly to generate ideas quickly or establish my lighting setup from different angles. So yeah, let's jump right in. First, head over to the adjustment layer panel, open up the drop down menu and select gradient maps. You should now have a new adjustment layer. In the properties window, you should see your gradient. So click on the gradient and an editor panel should now open up. Below the gradient, you should be able to see some small boxes. These are what we're gonna be using to add, subtract and change our colors. For this example, let's assume that my light source is going to be fire. Just a warm palette consisting of reds, oranges, yellows. I'm gonna choose black for my far left and white for my far right. Then in the middle, we'll find a place for all our warm colors. I'm gonna choose a cool red to the left, which would be slightly desaturated, then a warmer red, orange, and then yellow for my second lightest tone. Don't worry about being too careful at this stage because you can come back at any point and change them. So there we have our basic palette for the fire. Click OK and then create a new layer, making sure that this layer is below our gradient map. We are going to change the blending mode to screen using the drop down menu above. The reason we use screen layer is so that we only paint with light. So if we fill this layer with black, none of that black will show. Only the lighter colors in our gradient will be able to make it through. Right click on the gradient map layer and create clipping mask. This will ensure that we only paint within the limits of the black layer. As you can see, the layer is transparent again. The values on this layer will only show the equivalent value in our gradient. If I filled our layer with a mid-level grey, for example, then it would turn red, as we chose red for our mid-value in our gradient. Okay, so add another new layer, and we're going to place this in between our screen layer and our gradient map. This is going to be our safe zone. In here, we can paint as much as we want without compromising our screen layer. Any regular layers we place in our safe zone are going to mimic exactly what's happening to our screen layer because of the clipping mask. Now's the fun part. So if we grab our lighter value, in this case, I'm just going to go straight for white, but I'm going to make sure my brush has pressure sensitivity enabled. That way, when I press lighter, the lower opacity is going to act as a gray. The lighter that I press, the darker that gray would be, and the equivalent value in our gradient map will show through. That's cool, right? Now we're just painting our light. I chose a soft round brush, but you can use any brush that you feel most comfortable with. Feel free to change your gradient map at any time as well. You can do this by double clicking on the gradient map icon on the adjustment layer in your layers panel. The harder we press down, then the brighter it will be. So remember that those will be the most intense areas of your light or the most reflective. You can always choose a deeper gray to paint with and that will act as the lower gradient tones. Though I chose fire this time, you can do pretty much anything you want. Blues, greens, uh, rainbow if you wish. Just play around with different lighting setups and see what you can come up with. If you wish to keep your lighting more realistic in regards to the color, just think about what your values will be a bit more carefully and the colors you'd likely see in those values. Um, these can change a lot depending on what your light source is. So, and hey, if you get it wrong, eh, doesn't matter. Just come back and change the colors whenever you want. The gradient map will remain editable until you flatten it down. So as you can see, this method is super fast. The recording of this was less than five minutes long. Perfect for trying out a bunch of ideas. If I was working this into a final illustration, I would probably come back and paint over the top, but it's definitely a solid base to work from. As we're using a screen layer for this, I personally find the best results for this technique are when you apply in the earlier stages so you can work over the top or if your values are darker so that way you get a full range of the colors in your gradient map. And that's about it really. Uh, I've got another time lapse for you here just showing the same process but on a different piece. So yeah I'll let you watch that and then I'll see you again in a couple of minutes.
there you have it guys painting with gradient maps super fast super easy and I find them quite fun to use I hope you enjoyed this small bite-sized tutorial like I say I am in the process of working on some bigger ones so look out for those hopefully in the near future I have a lot of freelance work on at the moment but hopefully I can get those to you soon if you liked this video then please do give it a like if you would like to see more please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell for notifications to download my full brush pack there's a link in the description below uh, they are absolutely free so head on over and grab them donations are by no means expected but any donation made small or large truly means a lot so thank you all for the continued support thank you again for watching and hopefully see you all soon